yeah hello and welcome back to the channel so in the last videos we built this page which is part of a travel app series so this was the welcome page and the second part of the series we built the home page so this was the home page we worked on and um i've seen some of you asking for the third part of the series that's um, the details of each um, tour right or each location depending on how you decide to call this app so if you want to have the full source code to the third part of this series um, they are already part of the github repo so i've already pushed the changes but in this video i'll just be taking you guys to um, a showcase of that so i'm um, just tapping on any of these cards over here We'll take you to a page which is the details page of that particular um place right so this is how the ui looks like for now tapping on this takes you to a page which is the tourist details page okay so let me just have a quick um demo of this so in our pages we have the home page and within the home page we have the recommended places so if i could find that now in the recommended place um, let me zoom in a bit so in the recommended place we have um, an ink wall around each of this card right and so as you can see pressing and holding give this um, button effect on the card so tapping on any of these cards takes us to a page called tourist details page and that page will cause an image so that's the only um, parameter required by that page and within the tourist details page this is where we showcase the details of this particular place right so i'm just going to take you guys through it really quick so we have um, a normal scaffold as you expect and in the body we have a safe area the child of this safe area is a list view which has some padding around it right just to make um, the things not touch the edges of the screen that's the other widgets now we have some rows and columns over here with some few widgets the first one is the sizer box which contains this um, card you see over here so we have a sizer box which has um, a height of 38 percent of the screen and then takes up the full width of the screen as well this sizer box right which is what you see over here has a stack as a child within this stack we have um, a container and then a button so if i collapse this guy here realize that in the stack we have two things we have container and then a position widget now the container is the background you see over here together with the shadows right and then the position widget is the back button and then the favorite button you see over here so within the container we just have a normal box decoration with border radius we have our image here and then we have some box shadow right and that would be for the container now in the position widget or we are positioning a container at the top left corner of this size box and within that position we have two icon buttons one that takes us to the previous page and one that does nothing for now now outside that anything over here should just be normal we have some size box which we use for spacing we have a row which contains two texts so c of peace that's supposed to be the name of this particular place and then a small description indicating um the distance or where it is located also we have some icons and rating here pushed to the right side using the spacer widget and how many days left for this particular event to take place now aside that we have this right we have this row and then we have an image so there is just the container a container with an image within it just like we saw on the home page just the same image we're using the home page so this image 
Now we have a custom widget over here called distance, and that's just to create this dotted lines. Um, when we check this distance, we realize it has the beginning part, right? So it's a whole, it's a row which has an icon, a text, and some containers, right? So these are containers which are spread between the starting icon and then the ending icon, right? So that's about the distance. And then the last part is an elevated button, which has the shape of a stadium border with some modified pattern. So this is just a preview of the details page. If you want to have more in-depth look, I recommend you take a look at the codes on the GitHub repo. I'll leave a link to the repo in the description so you have a look at it yourself right it shouldn't be anything difficult um, as i've explained right, so i'll see you guys in the next one